All right, guys, today, <clears throat> working on the Dodge, and uh, I just got done putting headlights on it about a month ago or so, and now it's time for the taillights. And as you can see, they're a replica of the 5th gen taillights. Now, what I was going to do was I was going to spend the, spend the money to buy the 19 and up 2500 taillights, uh, LED taillights, and then spend the $150 on the uh, the retro whatever company it is uh, adaptive uh, harness. Uh, that ranges anywhere from $800 to $1,200 or more, depending on who you come to. And uh, I was going to do that. Uh, same way, I was going to get the factory headlights for this, but I spent a little bit of extra money and got the Alpha Rex ones like you saw. But as I started looking, I started coming across these. These are, well, the paperwork that came with it says Spec D, but that's not true. Um, I mean, it is, but it isn't. Spec D originally had these, then they got rid of these, and then they only put the ones with the white uh, C bar. And I didn't want the white C bars. So I ordered these off uh, AliExpress. Told they were shipped, waited uh, over a month, and never got any information on tracking. Um, so I found another set on Alibaba, ordered those, got shipping information on those in a week, and then these show up on my doorstep. So I'm fixing to have two of these t sets of tail lights. I was fixing to cancel these, and then they showed up on my doorstep. But, um, so... You can find versions of these on eBay that have the white C-bar that are in the States. You can find some on eBay that look like this. I ordered a set, and they got back to me saying, Sorry, we don't carry those. Will you like this other set? And I don't like the other set, though, because it's got this and this lights up, and I didn't want that. I just wanted this to light up and these to light up. So these weren't listed as Spec D, but apparently they're Spec D. Uh, but Specty doesn't sell these. They sell it with the white C-bar, but long story short, they're fifth gen replica tail lights that I fixed to put on the truck to finally get it the updated look. So I'll have headlights, tail lights, and then pretty much that's out, outside of the truck. That is everything, maybe lower the back two inches, but I don't know. But these are easy to install, unlike the fifth gen tail lights. With an adapter harness, you don't need adapter harness on these because it comes with the standard uh, Blake pin here and the reverse pin here. I already have some diode dynamic reverse lights, so I don't have to worry about loss of reverse lights going to these because the only reverse lights you have are these, and because they're not factory, they're probably not that bright. So I have all my bases covered. It looks like it's just two 20, T25s and then a couple connections and you can install these so I'm going to go ahead and get one of these out and then install them and let show you what they look like. Here's the factory incandescent tail lights. You just have your quarter turn here, quarter turn there and then there's some little tabs right here that missing one. There should be two tabs here. But we're missing one. Uh, I'll have to uh, get another one of those. Don't know where it is, but I'll move on from there. So you just got your little quarter turn, like I said. It's uh, what, 3157, 3157, and then a 194 based bulb, probably uh, 921 or whatever they are. That's a little stuck. I'm going to use two hands on that. I don't want to mess it up. <sighs> or break it in my hand. So, these just have your reverse bowl here. Your brake, turn, and running light here. There's your little resistor. And then you have your little push tabs here. And then that's where the T25s go in. And it just, once you put your bulbs in and turn them, just put your light in. So I'm going to be back after I do that. And there it is right there. 
nice and modern and I found something pretty neat about these lights. Now you have the normal running light and the normal brake light, but the turn signal is actually a uh, sequential and it's actually amber. The running light, got the brake light. And then a turn signal. That is something I did not expect and am pleasantly surprised for. That's it. Both of them are in. I showed you a little preview of all of the functions. And uh, overall, these are pretty good. The fit is pretty, pretty OEM. There's, you know, quite a bit of a gap back here. However, there's also a, a decent gap right here on the factory lights. <clears throat> so, you know, if this is a little bit gapped up, that's fine. It's aftermarket, it's not OEM, it's not going to be perfect. So, when you buy aftermarket stuff, you have to be accepting of slight fitment issues. Now, if it's a major fitment issue, that's one thing. Like, the headers that I originally bought for the Yukon that couldn't fit unless you cut a hole in the frame. These fit. They fit good. I had a surprise with the fact that it had a sequential turn signal. These and pretty much every listing in bold letters say red turn signal because the OEM lights have an amber turn signal. However, they are wired up differently. They have uh, separate turn signal wires that run all the way up to the BCM, which these trucks don't have. I was definitely surprised for the sequential turn signal. I was expecting it to be a red brake light, red turn signal, but that's nice because my Alpha Rex headlights have sequential turn signals. Now my brake lights have sequential turn signals. Whenever I get the funds together and buy the Boost Auto Parts tow mirrors, they will have sequential turn signals. I'm getting the uh, Chevy 2KXX type tow mirrors. The same tow mirrors I have on my Yukon. I will be getting those for this truck and they will have sequential turn signals. So that just makes everything match. But anyway, that's it. And uh, I'll just show one more. Once I get all this together, I'll close the tailgate and come back and do a, a light comparison on both sides. <laughs>